Good morning from the south slopes of Mount Oklahoma behind me. As you probably guessed, today you're going to be hiking Centennial and 13er Mount Oklahoma. For a full trail guide of Mount Oklahoma, you can check the link in the description below. If you're familiar with the area, uh, this is the same approach that you take to do the south slopes of Massive up there. Uh, so I kind of uh, hiked a bit about two miles in and you can uh, watch that south massive video i'll link in the description below if you want to see more of the approach but basically been a pretty easy hike through the forest past some pretty waterfalls and some nice wildflowers to get to this point we're going to reach this trail junction here and bear left to continue towards the half moon lakes and uh, up towards Mount Oklahoma. Even though I already regret it because she's just been hunting everything that has a pulse. We are gonna be taking Juno on this hike today, which means it is dog friendly as well. Mount Oklahoma is a class two hike and it's about six miles round trip if you have a four by four car. If not, it's probably closer to seven, seven and a half. Um, I talk about the road in the Mount Massive video, but essentially you can get to within about a half mile of the uh, upper north Half Moon Creek trailhead. And then after that, it's uh, pretty rough. Even regular uh, SUVs and four x four cars might have a tough time. The road's just really deteriorating over the years. All right, so definitely got off track there. We ended up on, it looks like, the social trail for Deer Mountain. And I noticed it because the GPX track I was following just kept peeling farther and farther away from Mount Oklahoma. Just be careful to make sure you're staying on the right uh, social trail in the woods. This is your trail junction. There's a cairn here, and you're gonna to wanna to take this towards Mount Oklahoma. If you had peeled off the trail before here, you would have definitely not seen this. You will know you're on the right trail if you see this stream crossing just a couple hundred yards after you juncture off the main trail. <laughs> Fuck. Coming back to get the camera too. Well, that's going to be a soggy uh, rest of the day for me, which is lovely. After you cross the stream, you're going to want to head up to the, to the right here, and there will be these uh, little rock faces and your view of Mount Oklahoma in front of you. You can see the trail. It's uh, pretty well defined, but I on and off lose it. So when you find spots like this, it's very easy to follow but there are parts where you have to be bushwhacking it a bit. Shortly after the first stream crossing, you'll come to a smaller one here, and there is absolutely no trail at this point. So it's just gonna be uh, following your map, following GPX, and seeing if you can track any signs of human activity. But this is so far of the 13ers I've done, one of the uh, least defined in terms of trails. I wish I could, uh show you guys this in a way that would make any sense. After those two stream crossings, it's just bushwhacking. Right now I'm on a little bit of a established trail, but really it's been like, hike five seconds, check my GPS. Hike five seconds, check my GPS. There's no discernible landmarks or anything like that. It's kind of just knowing the general direction I need to head. So as we're talking about gear for this hike, uh, I would highly, highly recommend a GPS. I use the Garmin InReach here, which is also a satellite communicator. And you can also download the GPX, which is like my track of this hike in the description below in the full trail guide as well. Whew, finally emerging from the trees and you got kind of full summit view of Oklahoma up that way. And uh, this is more or less the view you should have. Um, your goal is to kind of just work straight up. There's a Karen right there, so I'm gonna see how following that goes.
as you get higher here. Really the whole thing from this point out is choose your own adventure. I have found a somewhat well-defined trail, um, sticking to that. But if you can't find it, you're just kind of heading straight up. At the base of the grassy uh, drainage behind me here, as you can see, there are a number of different ways you can go up, but the recommended route would be right here up this slope um, and then kind of bear right and then once you're on the ridge bear left even though this slope is only a tenth of a mile you gain about 400 450 feet just in this little section so it's very steep and so far pretty loose dirt as well so in addition to GPS which is hugely important for this hike you're going to want to have hiking poles to give you that extra point of contact um, for a full gear list of everything i recommend on this hike you can check the links in the description below and uh, i'd also recommend having a 14er day kit which i'll link that video below as well yeah nasty think Descending Mount Bross nasty. Well, that sucked a lot. There was uh, like a faint trail to follow, if you want to call it that. Really, it was a faint people loosening up gravel. So uh, yeah, it was tough with really a hand and a half since I had the dog on a leash and she was like running all over the place like a lunatic. Um, but luckily, very close to being done with that awful section. And from here, just gonna gain the ridge proper and have a nice class two talus field about a third of a mile to the summit of Mount Oklahoma. That is the summit of Mount Oklahoma. So putting yourself back down to the ridge, you could basically just go straight up to the summit that way. I've been kind of barren left because I thought that's where we had to go. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. What a frustrating day. Just, uh, you know, again, I've said this in other videos, just part of the experience up here. There's times where you're just cruising, having a great day, no problem. You have a solid trail, morale is high, and then you have days like this. But, there's nothing wrong with a day like this because it makes you appreciate everything more and it makes you tougher in the long run with mental uh, fortitude. Here we are on the summit of Mount Oklahoma. On the summit of Mount uh, Oklahoma here today, and it's like 13.8 something. It's a centennial, which means it's the tallest uh, 100 in Colorado. Of course, behind me, you have some awesome views of all of the massive summits. There's, uh, I think, three or four of them, uh, including obviously the main one. And then the other ones are sub-summits, but they're all over 14,000 feet as well. Behind me, you got some awesome views up north and uh, over into the Elks as well. So visibility today, pretty good up here. Um, as I mentioned on the way up, a pretty frustrating hike, uh, but really because there's no trail. And that's kind of the nature of the game with a lot of these 13ers is just bushwhacking. Stepping in the creek early and then, you know, having to go through the, the lush, thick forest with a 30 foot leash is not really fun. Uh, but happy we made it up here and certainly a uh, beautiful view up here. And of course, because it's a 13er, I'm the only one here, uh, unlike Massive, which I can already see at least five other people over there. From car to summit, I have like a little over four miles. 
I know that's a lot of bouncing around in the woods, so I would imagine that's closer to like three and a quarter um, if you had a straight line. Um, but because this hike doesn't have a trail, your distance in hiking is going to vary depending on your route finding skills and where you end up going. I'm going to list this hike as somewhere between eight and nine miles, depending on where you park and depending on your route finding, uh, because it really could easily stretch into that. Speaking of Juno, who's being all coy with the camera here, uh, this hike is definitely dog friendly as long as your dog is okay. Um, you know, and somewhat strong of a hiker. I am really not looking forward to descending those dirt slopes. It's going to be not fun at all, um, but happy to share another summit of uh, uh, Centennial here in Colorado with you guys. On your descent down from Oklahoma, you want to make sure you don't go down too early. So go past this right here, continue on, and you'll see your trail right in this area to go down the same drainage that you came up. If you go down over here, there's going to be uh, not as nice of trail conditions. And that isn't saying much because what we came up was completely terrible. Well, that was about as much fun as you would imagine going down. Still have a little ways to go here, but as you get towards the bottom, it's a little more solid. Absolutely need hiking poles on this. And God bless you if you have a dog on a leash. As expected, the way down was much easier than the way up. I uh, just kind of had a feel for the land and was able to find a much more established social trail. Uh, so. The rock I'm standing on right here, um, you want to pass another viewpoint like this and then it's right after that one that you're going to take the left. So once you leave the, uh, the right hand turn for Mount Massive, you want to keep going for at least a half mile. You can follow my GPX tracks on the way down, it was much more straight lined than the way up. As I said on the way up, I actually ended up going down here and there's another trail that I believe goes back to Deer Mountain back there or whatever peak that is because someone's going to correct me. Overall, this was a great hike. Um, it's going to be, like I said, in the eight-ish um, range, depending on where you park, depending on your exact line. Um, but definitely have a GPS for this, for this one. Highly, highly recommend that. So for a full trail guide of Mount Oklahoma, you can go ahead and check the link in the description below. If you're new to my channel, I do virtual trail guides, hike related content, gear reviews, etc. here in Colorado and beyond. So go ahead and hit that like button on the video if you found this video helpful and please subscribe not to miss any future hike related content. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next adventure.